Hey guys, welcome back to my LP of Pokemon Silver, and welcome to the final episode. Previously, I went to Ecrotique City and climbed up the top of Tin Tower, and after a long hour of a battle of attrition, I finally caught the only legendary Pokemon left in this game, Ho-Oh. And by catching Ho-Oh, I was able to take away the Sacred Ash from it, which will be very helpful in the upcoming battle in this episode, the finale. Let's use those rare candies right now. After doing some hefty grinding before the start of this episode, four of my Pokemon are now level 60, Hash Browns is 52, and Toast is 58. With 10 rare candies, I have enough to get both Toast and Hash Browns to level 60. Let's start with Hash Browns first, and he is due to learn a brand new level before he gets to level 60. Nine rare candies left. Now there's eight left. Here it is. Finally, bug type Pokemon get the respect that they deserve with this move. Mega Horn. 120 power, 85 accuracy, 10 power points. Technically, it is like the equivalent of such powerful 120 power moves like Fire Blast and Blizzard and Solar Beam and Hy uh, Hydro Pump. There might be another move that I'm thinking of that has 120 power, but I don't remember. Maybe Thunder. Uh, let's see. That's right. I don't need Fairy Cutter anymore. And there you have it. There, Hash Brown's move pool is now complete, and I'll make sure to use Mega Horn once after I get done with these rare candies. And the same thing for Toast when he learns his new move as well. Okay, let's tap off Hash Brown's a level. 60, make them nice and crispy. Make sure they're cooked very lightly on both sides. You don't want them to get overburnt and all crunchy. Because, of, of course, that's how I like my hash browns. Two more for you, hash browns. And look at this. Both of them are tied for the amount of HP. I wonder who will get the most. Or maybe it'll be a tie all in all. We'll see. Hash Browns, you have 187. Let's see if Toast can get to past 187, or maybe he won't. We'll have to find out. Alright, Toast. Oh, it's gonna be close. For the final rare candy, Toast will get to learn the move that I've been waiting for it to learn. And they're both at 170, 187 HP. But anyways, Toast is now about to learn Flame Thrower, my favorite fire type move. The difference between Flamethrower and Fire Punch is that there's only one difference. Aside from being both Fire type moves, they both have 100 accuracy, they both have 15 power points, I think their burn chance is also, also the same at 10%, and they're both special as well in this game. But Fire Punch's power is 75, and Flamethrower's is 95. A whole lot more better. There. Alright, so with the rare candies out of the way, let's go ahead and enter the wild for just a couple of battles so I can show off Mega Horn and Flamethrower, just in case I don't use them in the final battle in this episode. So let's hop to it. I am so sorry, Magnemite, that you had to volunteer for this special moment. Burn! Burn in hell! There! So that's Flamethrower. Now let's show off Mega Horn. Hash Browns is now a total powerhouse. Now, granted that the first Mega Horn won't miss. And there you have it. Bye, Meowth. <laughs> there, looks like Meowth's blasting off again. It is the Pokemon of Team Rocket, of course. Now that we're ready. Well. I mean, not weird, but now that I'm ready to battle Pokemon Trainer Red in the last fight, you must be wondering, why am I in front of the underground path near Vermilion City and Saffron City? Well, it's because I forgot to enter it as soon as I restored the power plant, so let's just bury the hatch on this. Let's see if these are the items I'm thinking of. This might take a few moments. 
There's the full restore. I think there's one more as well. It should be an X special. I'm not even sure where it is. I don't think I'm going to use the X special anytime soon, though. It's not down there. Where are you, X special? Or maybe there is no X special here. Again, the other underground path connecting Celadon City and... Well, east of Celadon City and west of Lavender Town. That is permanently blocked off. But back in the original games, you could find an elixir and a nugget. So it looks like I'm not finding the X special. I might as well do the whole thing right here, since I'm probably almost down to the bottom of the path. Found it. You know what I'm going to do with it, right? Actually, you know what? I have an idea. I was going to throw it away, but I'm going to hold on to it. You'll see. So let's see here. Ten full restores, three hyper potions, eight max revives. I don't even think I used one of those, so... My item pool is pretty good. Even though I could buy more, because I do have over 400,000 Poké Dollars. Okay, now that I got that out of the way, I'm just hoping I'm not forgetting anything else, because if I do, well, I guess too bad, and I'm, I'm gonna regret it, I suppose. Alright, I guess I'll meet you back at the summit where Red is. <coughs> I'm just about ready to face Red. I just gotta do one last thing and prepare myself. All I need to do is just choose which Pokemon that I want to start out with. So once again, give me a couple moments. Okay, I got everything set now. So I just have to say, toast, grape juice, pancake, honey, hash browns, and grits. Are you guys ready for your ultimate test? Hey Red, turn around and face me. Speechless, huh? Just like in Pokemon Sun and Moon as well. That is, if you guys played that game. Oh my god, here we go. I hope I'm ready. His first Pokemon is his highest leveled one. He Pikachu at level 81. I'm going to kick things off with honey and sprinkles of salt and pepper on this Pikachu. Ooh, charm is not going to bode well here. Honey, no! Crap! Don't miss! Okay. I guess that nullifies everything. Okay. Now, build up that curse. What? What? Red, you're a dumb phony! You used a full restore just to wake up Pikachu? You, you didn't want to use a full heal or even your Poke Flute? Ugh. I got a hunch that this battle is going to be so easy. Anyways, I got a curse up, but I got to put Pikachu back to sleep. It missed two thunders in a row. That's why I hate thunder so much. It's not as accurate, like I always say. Again? Another full restore? Red, you're just, you're making things too easy for me. Come on. I want a challenge. Well, at least this thunder connected. You know, I got thinking too. Oops, uh-oh. I'm gonna use it right now. That X special. Oh, it only increased my special attack. Well, that's crap. Uh, I, th I thought it was gonna increase my special defense and then the thunder would do less damage. You stay asleep. And don't use more full restores. I'm trying to build a curse. There we go. I bet Red used all of his full restores in this fight too, so... It's too bad when one of his Pokemon is, is in a pinch and he's out of all his doors. Again, he's going to make this too easy for me. How many is that? Four curses now? Let's take a look. Yeah, it's been four. Pikachu, you stay asleep. I just need one more curse. And whatever you do, please don't use charm. Okay, good, you're staying asleep. So now I have all six curses. Let's 
Sludge Bomb is a little bit more powerful. But I'm gonna use Giga Drain. Uh oh. Okay, there's another Thunder. I'm gonna use Giga Drain first and see if I can get some of my HP back. Oh crap! I'm gonna have to use a. Yep. I'm gonna use a full restore. There. If Fred can use two full restores, I think I can use at least one in this one. Maybe another later on. Don't paralyze me again. Please don't. Okay, good. Now, I'm near full health, so I'll change my mind on the Giga Drain go with Sludge Bomb this time. Alright, let's see how much this does, because my attack is only up by two after Pikachu's two charms. A knockout, okay. That's convenient. I bet Red's gonna use Charizard next. Wait, what? Venusaur? Maybe it's because he's poison type. Okay. I guess so. Alright. Salt and pepper. I knew it. He's gonna use solar beam. It's not really gonna do much though. No, 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 don't. Honey, don't miss. Come on, tank this. Holy crap, that's doing heavy damage. Oh, he quit my pants, that's why! Ah, you need come poop. Shoot. Alright, let me see what a sludge bomb can do for damage. It should do pretty decent damage. Ew, Venus was all pink! He caught some type of, like, virus or something. Alright, roughly a, like, a little over a third, so that's alright. I'm gonna have to use a Hyper Potion. Let's keep Honey alive for just a little longer. Because I want to use Curse to its full effect. Please don't wake up. Yeah, dungeon! <sighs> don't quit my pants this time! Okay, better. Okay, Sludge Bomb. Tank this, Honey, come on. Okay, that's fine. There, take that! Okay, if I can get one more in. Oh! The sun faded, so he's gonna have to waste a turn using another sunny day or a solar beam. Or he can use synthesis! Let's see what happens here. If he doesn't use synthesis in the next turn, well, whenever he doesn't use it, then I'll have the advantage. This is gonna be close. Okay, thankfully, he only has five syntheses, so if I can just just fight along here, have a, have this uh, war of attrition, just hang on, and I might do the job right. Okay. Okay, he uses his, charge up his solar beam. If you can take this down, honey, with one more sludge bomb, then good. Here we go. Knock it out! Nice! Cool! Now you gonna use Charizard? I thought so. Okay, I'm gonna switch out now. So good job, honey, you took down two Pokemon, even though I had to use a Full Restore and a Hyper Potion. So with Charizard, Fire and Flying. How about... I'm gonna go with Toast. Any fire type moves from Charizard won't do very much with, uh. With Toast, of course. Okay. Let's shock it up. Fire Spin? Really? 10 damage. Woo! Paralyze that thing! Clip its wings! Nope. If I can at least paralyze it, then I'll be able to hit him first. Let me try... Let's see, that's like 40% of his health is already gone. I wonder how much return will do. I'm gonna do a return. Okay, here's a wing attack. How much will this do? Ooh, okay. Hang strong, toast. Okay. That's good. Just one more thunder punch. 
Just tank this. Don't quit my pants. Okay, good. Get that thing out of here. We're halfway done. And my p team has not fainted yet. Who's next? Espeon. I have just the Pokemon for that. I could go with Hash Browns, but he's a fighting type. It's gonna have to be Grits, like I thought. That was my original choice anyways. There, Espeon won't use Psychic on me. Just in case, though, I'm gonna use Confuse Ray. That did nothing. I'm at level 60. I think this Espeon's in big, big trouble. Okay, good start. Let's see what this does. I hope it does a lot. Oh, it didn't do very much at all. Well, let's keep going. Please hit yourself again. Good. If I can crit its pants, that'd be a knockout. Otherwise, I'll put it in the red. Please? Huh? Oh, never mind. It was a knockout after all. Blastoise and probably this Pokemon. Yep, Snorlax. Ah, oh, the hardest one to take down. Okay. This is where I need Hash Browns. Okay, so Hash Browns, you have a job to do here. You need to use this move. Well, I don't necessarily have to use Endure. I mean, I probably won't get knocked out by one move, so let's go for the reversal first. Let's see how much this does with 20 power. Hey, it did more than I thought. <laughs> That's a waste. Let's see how much Megahorn does. It's probably going to do less. No, it did more. Oh, it did a whole lot more. Not even crits pants either. Now, if I can have Hash Browns do heavy, take heavy damage here. Without a knockout? Oh, he crit my pants. Oh, I'm so sorry, Hash Browns. Okay, I gotta go to plan B. Let's go with... Hmm, maybe... I could. I'm gonna try it. Just don't miss sleep powder. <laughs> Please? You did. Oh my god, you're gonna get knocked out by the body slam. Unless Snor uh, Snorlax uses rust. Nope. Ah, oh, honey's gone. Shoot! <sighs> Sorry, sweetie. <sighs> okay. How about... Poop! Let's go with Toast, even though he's very weak. He's not going to be able to take down Blastoise anyways. Let's go for the Flamethrower. Maybe I'll try to knock him out here, or maybe at least burn him and it might do burn damage to end it off. Just don't use Rest. Oh, I got the burn! I wonder if I can tank this, even though he's burnt. Ah, oh, nope. Okay. Who can do one fell swoop? I think only one Pokemon can do it. That is Pancake. You have to hit Thunder on this. Please knock it out. Ugh, nope. Shoot! Darn Shun! Uh, back to start. With Snorlax, that is not the star of the fight. Ah, oh, so close. I think Snorlax has Snore as well. Okay. So nothing's gonna work here with Pancake, so let's switch to someone else. Grits is tough, so let's go back to him. How about I use... Well, he's still asleep. Let's get the... There's that Snore. Okay. Let's get a Confuse Ray in there. 
My only best bet is to use Return, since Snorlax used an Amnesia earlier. Please slap yourself. Nope, shoot. Okay. Here we go. Let's see how much this does. It's probably not going to do very much at all. Uh. Slap yourself. Yes. There. Okay, keep going. Every little bit counts. As long as he's still confused. Okay, come on. Shoot. Don't paralyze me! Okay, good. <sighs> Return again. I think Snorlax is going to lose his confusion right here. Nope, he's still confused. Okay, very nice. Can I go for the kill? I'm going to go for it. Come on, Grits! Show some grit! Are you serious? Oh, he lost the confusion too. Ah. Okay. He didn't use rest, so... Why don't I use grape juice? And get a quick one in there. Return. I don't think bite would take it down. Even though it's just one sliver of a health. Alright. One last Pokemon to go. I'm gonna stick with uh, Grape Juice, even though Blastoise does have Blizzard. I'm gonna use Confuse Ray at first. Red cannot switch out anymore, so Confusion will definitely help here. Rain Dance? You must have Hydro Pump. You know what then? Let's go for the fly, so he's going to use Hydro Pump next, I think. Unless he hits himself. He hit himself, okay. Don't- Great Juice! No way! This is a very important fight! How could you miss? <sighs> okay, he still hurt himself. Try again! Don't miss this time! Hit him in the head! Okay, Blastoise, you're a dumb phony. You used Rain Dance, and then afterwards you want to use Blizzard and not Hydro Pump? Are you kidding me? Also, you know what I should have done? I should have switched out to, uh, to, uh, Pancake and used Thunder while Rain Dance was still in play. It would have shot Blastoise guaranteed. Oh, uh, good job on tanking that. Okay. I'm gonna try to. I think his confusion is gone, so I'm gonna use confusion ray again. Yep. Is he gonna use rain dance again? I'm gonna find out. Nope. He's gonna finish me off here. All right. It's off the pancake. All right. Let's flatten this turtle, just like a pancake. I could go for the Thunder Wave. Oh, Light Screen, too. I think Blastoise is faster than me, too, so I'm going to take my chances and go with Thunder Wave first. Please hurt yourself. Please? Okay, nice. I have a shot. Okay. Okay, just in case I miss Thunder, I'm going to put the Light Screen up and protect myself a little bit. Oh! You dumb phony! You just gave me the win! <laughs> oh my god! Please knock this out! Nice! Oh, I crit its pants! What a way to finish it, too! Crit in its plant, uh, pants on the last move. I almost said crit in its plants. How, do you, how is that even possible? Unbelievable. Pancake, you got so lucky! Sweet! And that is game. He's he's shocked. He's speechless, like shocked. Like how do I word this? He's so shocked. He's still speechless. He has a lack of words. They say a picture's worth a thousand words. Well, not in this fight.
if that made any sense. Oh my god, it is over! Oh, hey honey, here's your last chance to join those Blossom and dance along. Okay, I need to get this off my chest now that w I've made it to the end. There's a part of me, let's just say ha half and half. There's a half of me where I enjoyed this Let's Play very much. After all, this is my third favorite game ever. I had a lot of great moments. So, then there's the other half of me, who, which is saying, I cannot wait to start the next Let's Play. Just to show I've already gotten bored of this near the end. But either way, it's over, so now I can press on to the next LP. And also, I have completed 10 Let's Plays on my gaming channel, so not a big milestone, but still a milestone nonetheless. So I guess here's to another 10 more. I'm still pondering on if I should play a playthrough of... I'm not sure if I'm going to do Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, or Fire, Red, Leaf, Green. Or I might just go back and do like Pokemon Red or something. Even though I did do a personal speedrun on a Japanese copy of Pokemon Blue. So I'll put those games on the back burner. Not Japanese Pokemon Blue. I meant Red, Fire, Red, Leaf, Green, and Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. But those Let's Plays, those Pokemon Let's Plays, that is, will not happen for quite a while. Because of the first 10 Let's Plays, I've done two Pokemon games. And I think I need a breather from Pokemon games for a little while. And also, once you hit the the end right here, if you just push any button, you're teleported back to the Pokemon Center over in Mount Silver. So I'm hoping I am not missing anything else, because I caught all five of the legendary Pokemon, I got all 16 badges, I pretty much clean sweeped every optional place, like Mount Mortar, World Islands, and probably Rock Tunnel, I guess, even though it's just full of it uh, items. So if I missed anything, oh well, I guess I'll just leave it at that. So no, I'm not going to fight my rival who awaits me on certain days of the week over at the Pokemon League after beating him over in Mount Moon. It's optional and I'm just going to leave that alone. Other things that I'm going to leave alone including, if you remember, the Shuckle that you can get for free over in Cyanwood City. I don't need to pick that up, that's nothing. Same thing for the remaining fishing rods, which are good rod and super rod. I, I only need to pick up the old rod and catch a water type Pokemon that can surf and not a Magikarp, just until I got the Red Gyarados, so that's why I need the old rod, but otherwise, I don't need any other fishing rods, so we'll just ignore that as well. So, I wonder what I'm going to do for the next Let's Play. I don't think it's going to be a, a Nintendo game. It'll probably be something from my PlayStation 3. I'll have to look at the list and see what I have in store. To my Pokemon team, Toast, Grape Juice, Pancake, Honey, Hash Browns, and Grits. You did a great job in this Let's Play. I couldn't ask for a better Pokemon team for this playthrough. As the power that's invested in me and all Green Peas and Pea Pods nationwide, I hereby pronounce you guys the Breakfast of Champions. There you have it. Okay, I think that's enough of me rambling. For completing 10 Let's Plays on Marcus B. Gaming, I'm going to end this episode off like I did with my Minecraft LP. So here I go. If you enjoyed this video, as well as this Let's Play, please give this video and possibly the other videos a like. Feel free to subscribe to this channel if you want more Let's Play videos coming your way. Don't forget to check out my self-titled channel, which is of course Marcus B. Welby, for random videos, which also includes a complete 100 episode of my Pokemon Gold Silver Mystery Gift feature, since I couldn't use Mystery Gift with my copy of Pokemon Silver here. 
And finally, if you have anything to say, or if you want to talk about your favorite moment of my Let's Play, or whatever, then leave a comment below. And that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in the next Let's Play. But until then, like I always say, take care.